Welcome back. You've got one last chance to enjoy silent movies on the porch at the historic house known as Pleasant Home in Oak Park. You can watch from the porch or sit on blankets on the lawn. I'm joined now by Sarah Brown, the executive director of Pleasant Home Foundation. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Elizabeth. How are you? Great. Thanks for being on this morning. Talk to us about this. Uh, what is the Pleasant Home for starters? Yeah, so Pleasant Home is a home that was constructed for the Farson family in 1899 in Oak Park by architect George Washington Mayer. So it is one of the largest homes in Oak Park. Uh, John Farson was the first millionaire of Oak Park, and he definitely wanted to show it off. <laughs> and so the home has an amazing front porch, um, probably one of the largest in Oak Park in the area. And it's a great space for us to host events and welcome the public to the house to learn more about it. So how did it go from a family's home to now a community space? That is such a great question. So the house was in the Farson family for about 10 years until Mr. Farson passed away. The home transferred hands to the Mills family of the Mills Novelty Company. The family lived there until the 1930s, and then it was their decision to transfer ownership of the home to the Park District of Oak Park. Um, so it's actually been a property uh, operated by the Park District of Oak Park since the 1930s. And Pleasant Home Foundation was formed um, right before the 2000s to help preserve and protect and educate the public about this national uh, historic landmark. Wow, what a giving family. What a great thing for your community. Yeah. Talk to us about the silent movie thing that's happening on Thursday, right? Yeah, so we like to find ways to incorporate the art as well as showcase the home's history. Silent movies on the porch is a wonderful way to do so. Um, we showcase movies filmed from more than 100 years ago, as you mentioned, along with live musical accompaniment. We're so honored to have the Silent Film Society of Chicago partner with us this year and the amazing musician and talented uh, resource that is Jay Warren. He plays live accompaniment. He tells the audience about the film, the actors, some of the history, and he has a huge following anyway. So it's just been really wonderful to partner with him. Uh, it is a family-friendly event, as you mentioned. You can come and grab a seat on the porch. You can grab a seat on the lawn, bring food, bring drinks, and just enjoy a really nice evening. Weather-wise, we've been batting a thousand. Yeah, and it looks like I, said, you're, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh no, oh no. I think you'll be. I think you'll be okay. And if not, I guess everyone's going to be sitting on the porch. Can you just kind of right. describe uh, what this is like to kind of bring everybody together? And you're all hanging out on a front porch or in a front lawn. What a what a great thing. Yeah, oh, definitely. This is all about community. It happens that we hold these events this year on the same night as Night Out in Oak Park, where people are kind of getting out anyway. And so you come up on the porch, it's lit with beautiful lights in the stage, and you get to really just get a chance to know your neighbors and kind of think back into a time when these films might have been playing on theaters around you. It kind of really helps you immerse yourself in the feeling of what it would have been like to attend an event in the early 1900s at this property. Um, it's also a beautiful place to hold an event because it's right in the heart of a neighborhood. And so it's not just those of us that are in attendance that get to enjoy it. The music, the activity, the sights and the sounds kind of roll out into the neighborhood. And, and I think you can imagine like what kind of fun that is on a Thursday night, just having all these people, this music, and then maybe something that you haven't seen ever or something that you're a big fan of right in your backyard. And it's only $10 to attend and only $20 for families. So we, we like to keep it affordable and it's just a really, really great community event. Okay, so Thursday night, right? Thursday night. Yeah. This Thursday, come join us, seven o'clock. And how do we get tickets? Do we get them there or do we get them ahead of time? We highly encourage you to purchase in advance because these events do sell out. So you can get tickets at pleasanthome.org. If you happen to miss us this time around, we are doing a special Halloween silent movie on the porch on October 18th. Ooh. And there'll be more te details on that on our socials and on pleasanthome.org. What's the movie? You know what? I'm not sure about that yet. Mm, spooky, I bet, though, huh? Spooky, exactly. Spooky. Something more on that realm. All right, Sarah Brown, thank you so much for your time this morning. Executive Director of Pleasant Home Foundation. Appreciate Thanks, it. Elizabeth. Good luck Thursday. Fingers thank crossed you. for the weather. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you.